Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Artificial intelligence technology is constantly improving and robots are becoming more and more a part of our future. From learning human social skills to remembering human faces and creating friendships, here are eight of the most advanced robots in existence. Number 8. Asimo by Honda During the 1980s, Honda diverted from its usual product lines of cars, motorcycles, aircraft, and power equipment and embarked on a side project in the artificial intelligence department. The final product was a humanoid robot called Asimo, which stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. Asimo debuted in the year 2000 and was the first robot to walk on two legs. The 4-foot, 3-inch tall, 119-pound robot was designed to help people with the daily demands of their lives. It can recognize multiple moving objects and calculate their distance, interpret human voice commands and gestures such as a wave or a handshake, and navigates autonomously, courtesy of a laser, infrared, and ultrasonic sensors throughout its body. In addition to being the first bipedal humanoid robot, Asimo established a few other claims to fame, including playing soccer with former U.S. President Barack Obama and establishing a long-lasting friendship with TV host Kelly Ripa. Despite being considered one of the most advanced humanoid robots of all time, Honda announced plans to take Asimo out of production in June 2018. But why? Well, it appears as if the company has bigger things in store for their robotics line. Months prior, at the annual CES trade show in Las Vegas, the company had revealed plans to design a quartet of robots under the name of 3E Concept. Instead of creating one robot that performs a multitude of functions, the 3E Concept creations will work harmoniously to improve the lives of humans by having each robot focus on a specific set of tasks. As of September 2018, the retail price of an Asimo was quoted at around $2,500,000. Number 7. Valkyrie Valkyrie is a 6-foot, 2-inch tall, 300-pound robot that was developed by NASA's Johnson Space Center in partnership with Texas A&M and the University of Texas. The robot was designed for the 2015 DARPA Robotics Challenge, a contest that sought to create semi-autonomous ground robots for use in conditions that are deemed too hazardous for humans. Scientists hope that Valkyrie may someday assist with the human colonization of Mars. There are certainly a lot of maybes involved with the project, and although humans are nowhere close to establishing a civilization on the Red Planet, scientists are always thinking ahead. If humans are to ever form a successful colony on Mars, some preliminary investigating must be done using artificial intelligence. Valkyrie was designed to withstand exposure to atmospheric conditions that we humans cannot currently tolerate. The robot is also being developed to mine resources, build habitats, and provide disaster relief along the surface of Mars. Scientists hope to eventually see Valkyrie working alongside astronauts. Number 6. Atlas Atlas is a bipedal humanoid robot that was created by the U.S.-based engineering and robotics company Boston Dynamics and which was revealed to the public in 2013. The project was funded and overseen by DARPA, an agency of the United States Department of Defense that is responsible for the development of emerging technology for use by the American military. The design for the 6-foot-tall, 330-pound robot was based on the company's earlier Petman robot and is made of aluminum and titanium. Atlas was created for military purposes, including various tasks associated with search and rescue missions, and has proven to be rather durable. The robot can climb independently and navigate rough terrain using its four hydraulically actuated limbs and possesses two vision systems consisting of a laser rangefinder and stereo cameras. Atlas competed against Valkyrie, the robot I just told you about, in the 2015 DARPA Robotics Challenge and placed second in the finals. Since then, the primary focus has been on improving Atlas. In a February 2016 video posted to YouTube by Boston Dynamics, Atlas demonstrated an improved ability to traverse rough terrain and a capability of operating both indoors and outdoors. And now for number 5. But first, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and click the notification bell. We have lots of new videos coming up. Number 5. Kangoro Toward the end of 2017, researchers from the University of Tokyo reported the development of a robot named Kangoro, which can do sit-ups, push-ups, and back extensions, and otherwise move in shockingly human ways that are uncharacteristic of any previous robot. Most impressive, however, is the ability of Kangoro to sweat. Kangoro and its predecessor, Kenshiro, were modeled as closely after the human body as possible. 
Kenshiro's 113-pound body was based on the average size of a 13-year-old boy, and Kangoro was slightly heavier. Kangoro possesses 16 actuators that work by pulling on wires to mimic human muscular contractions and is known for its flexibility. To prevent overheating as the actuators pull more rigorously on the wires, steam is vented through tiny holes in the aluminum skeleton via water tubes throughout the robot's body. Unlike almost all other humanoid robots, Kangoro can move in ways that require a great degree of muscular elasticity, including standing on its tippy toes, doing sit-ups, and even lifting its own weight with a pull-up. I cannot do that. Its creators claim that the robot has six times the degree of freedom as other humanoid robots. Kangoro's human-like capabilities make it an ideal candidate as a crash test dummy, due to its potential to more accurately reflect the possible damage to the human body in an accident than the dummies that are currently being used. Number 4. HRP-4 This lightweight humanoid robot was developed by Japanese bridge-building company Kawada Industries in collaboration with the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology. It weighs just 86 pounds, has better balance, and is leaner than previous models of the HRP series robots, and can also respond to voice commands and track faces and objects. Even more impressively, the HRP-4 can stand on one leg and strike poses. The 5-foot-tall robot also has 34 moving joints and can move its fingers with more precision than its predecessors. Over a decade of research in Japan's public and private sectors went into creating the HRP-4. In January 2011, it went on sale for 26 million yen, around $300,000. One of the goals of developing robots like the HRP-4 is to hopefully eventually replace humans when it comes to simple manual labor, like house chores. Wouldn't that be awesome? Number 3. Fur Hat Another robot that was designed with the goal of eventually replacing humans is Fur Hat, which was released in late 2018 and is claimed by its developer Stockholm-based Fur Hat Robotics to be the world's most advanced social robotics platform. The company is so confident about their product, they believe it bridges the gap between man and machine. Using computer animation, Furhat features a human-like face, which can make relatable expressions and mimic natural head movement, and also has a realistic voice. Don't want your robot to look like a human? No problem! Furhat's face can take on other forms, such as that of a dog or an alien. In addition to its face-swapping abilities, Furhat also expresses emotions and possesses the capacity for multiple personalities. At just 7.7 .7 pounds and in the form of a bust, Furhat is the lightest and smallest robot on this list. Furhat has a built-in camera that enables it to track and recognize faces and is so realistic it can supposedly interact with humans the same way we interact with one another. The robot is even a polyglot. Currently, it speaks 40 languages. Its developer hopes that it can be used for things like concierge services, training employees, and even conducting job interviews, minus the biases that a human interviewer often has. Furhat's developers ran into an amusing, unforeseen problem when a test subject who had recently gotten Botox injections stumped the robot's face-reading mechanisms. According to an insider, the problem was worked around after some tinkering and readjustment with the software. Number 2. Nina in 2013, engineers from the French National Center for Scientific Research created Nina, a one-meter-tall humanoid robot that has been shaping its behavior ever since. Gerard Bailey, director of research at CNRS, explained in 2017 that Nina is continuously learning how to behave in a socially acceptable manner. Nina receives some help with this behavioral development from a CNRS engineer, who wears a virtual reality headset to step into her shoes and control her. The engineer's headset picks up sounds and images exactly as Nina perceives them. Conversely, Nina can imitate the engineer's movements, which activate her 50 motors and can be programmed to talk by the human pilot. Frederick LSA, the engineer who operates Nina using a virtual headset, explained that much like a child learns behavior by mimicking adults, Nina's creators are hoping she eventually picks up enough of what they're teaching her to become autonomous. Number 1. Sophia on October 25, 2017, an eerily lifelike robot named Sophia became the first robot in the world to truly be recognized as a human when the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia granted her full citizenship. In addition to being the first robot to gain citizenship, a right typically only afforded to biological humans, she is also proof that robots can achieve a type of fame that was previously reserved for actual people. 
Since Sophia's initial debut in 2016 at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas, she's become a cultural icon. Sophia was dreamed up by AI developer David Hansen and created by his company Hansen Robotics. The systems within Sophia enable her to make eye contact, understand human speech, and recognize faces. Hansen Robotics has developed artificial intelligence that enables users to shape Sophia as they wish and that enables Sophia to continuously learn new behaviors. She can also express emotions and was built to possess values like kindness, compassion, and wisdom. Sophia's core values, which she was purposely designed around, remind us of the very real possibility that AI may someday turn against us and be used to hurt people, a fear that has been expressed by some members of the scientific community. With how rapidly AI technology is advancing, that day may not be too far into the future. If they get too smart, what do they need us for? Thanks for watching! What was your favorite robot? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to check out the other video on advanced artificial intelligence. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!